My speech already? I'm Dr. Lafayette. I just got in this morning. I work out on Bon Bon Island. This is actually my first time in Bear's LA office in quite a while. Jackie flew me in to give a speech on career science. I don't know when I'm supposed to go on stage. I hope they didn't forget about me. Glad you asked. I have a PhD in motivation, but career science isn't just for eggheads. Let's see if I can break it down. Everything around us is made of elements. The airplanes in the sky are built from aluminum, and you can't have a hot breakfast without a skillet made of iron. But what are businesses made of? It's an element you may not know about, orconium. Buildings, bonds, and briefcases. If you look close enough, it's all Worgonium. Worgonium itself is composed of millions of careeroids. At the center of each is a bosicule orbited by a variety of employons. Every bosicule wants to accumulate as many employons as possible. But if you catch too many, it'll slow him down, making him easy prey for larger bosicules. What if two equal bosicules collide? That's called a workplosion. Outer employons may be let go, but every workplosion emits rays of pure productivity. At Bear Stearns, we seek to weaponize these rays and use them to annihilate our competitors' buildings. Ridiculous. You probably stumbled through a semester of undergraduate motivation and now you think you're a professor. If you're not willing to vaporize a couple of competitors, you don't have the job to to work at Bayer. In the late 90s, I was at the Department of Labor developing experimental team building exercises. One day when I was leaving, a man approached me in the parking lot. He said he'd read my thesis on agitated bosicules and wanted to offer me a job. I could tell immediately that he knew his stuff. This man could have been a first-rate career scientist himself if he wasn't busy being the CEO of Bear Stearns. Jackie offered me my own lab with triple the budget of the Department of Labor. No more team building exercises. I'd finally be able to focus on pure theoretical motivation. The only catch, Bear Stearns would own all of my research and could apply it however they liked. I resigned my post the next morning. From that point on, I was just another one of Jackie's girls. We built a facility on Bon Bon Island off the coast of LA when I wasn't working in the lab, I was working on my tan. I had everything I wanted. There was no reason to ask how my discoveries were being applied by the big shots in Los Angeles. Last Christmas Eve, I got my first glimpse behind the curtain. I had left the lab early to go scuba diving as I do on every Christian holiday. My new deep water suit had arrived from the mainland and I was eager to explore some unfamiliar reefs on the western side of the island. Shortly after I dived, a group of dolphins approached me, swimming about playfully. I followed them, expecting to be led to their cove. They swam so quickly, darting through the beautiful piles of coral as I struggled to keep up. Oh, finally, we reached a clearing. They had led me to a secret underwater Bear Stearns facility. I now know as Big Bronco. I thought about swimming away but I'd already been spotted. The researchers welcomed me in, of course. I knew many of them from my lab. Jackie had told them to keep the facility secret from me. 
but he knew I'd eventually discover it on my own. What I saw down in Big Bronco changed me forever. Just as poetry can sing the praises of a despot and philosophy can justify the atrocities of war, so too can career science be defiled. At Big Bronco, success isn't 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. It's 80% genetic engineering, 15% artificial evolution, and 5% a knife that shoots guns. I don't care if you rat me out the Jackie. I haven't slept in six months. If those dolphins had never shown me Big Bronco, I'd still be a blissful scientist in the ivory tower. Now I'm just a prisoner on Bon Bon Island. A regulator. They teach us to dislike your type, but all I want to do now is shake your hand. I'll reluctantly testify, and I'll serve my sentence with a free spirit and a wistful heart. It's time for me to hang up my lab jacket and start a new career as a prison inmate. It's curious. I spent five minutes chatting with Jackie in the parking lot that day, but I've misspent the last ten years of my life because of it. <laughs> I recall my first day at Bear. Jackie took me out for tapas after, to celebrate, get to know me. I was feeling mellow and I offered to give him a back rub, right then and there. I drew up a quick muscle diagram on the back of a placemat. I have never told anyone the results of that massage. Turns out that Jackie had moderate tension in the shoulders. No! What? What are you still doing here, Doctor? You're late for your speech! You need to go to the stage right now! Now! And you, Regulator! You are legally obligated to present your credentials to the receptionist when you entered their sterns. You failed to do that, and therefore you are here illegally. All information you have gathered is inadmissible for tonight's trial. Furthermore, Henry is in a laser cage and he is not allowed to leave until he apologizes to every single Bear Stearns employee. We have 15,000 employees on seven continents. I will decide your punishment as soon as you get to the executive balcony. And you are already late. No! Franco, I thought you were toast! Get us out of here! No! Look, look what you've done, Regulator! Is this how you treat your colleagues? This is all your fault! Don't you listen to her! She... she has... What's the matter? Is this your first case? You're just a small town Regulator from... Neil Bernardino. Well, sorry, this isn't a pizza restaurant, Regulator. Welcome to the top of L.A. Prime. I'm Billy Diamond, and this Get is... Get me out of this laser cage! Don't touch those bars! They're made out of lasers! Oh. 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 I hope you know what you're doing, Franco. I'm not happy with your behavior right now, Regulator, but I understand your frustrations. The incompetence of other departments, inconsistent rule systems, even if their stern things are falling apart at the seams. I've been trying to get Jackie to review the cover design of the employee handbook, and he just won't do it. It's shit like this that makes me delighted at the opportunity to testify at the trial tonight. Finally, a chance to get some attention. I've been waiting a long time for my voice to be heard. Laser cage down! Yeah! Woo! 
Yeah. Woo!